quick update you know according to my research that i have done and a little investigation that i have conducted on holiness movement in ghana i can conclude that it's all about milking from the vulnerable church members if you're a holiness member hmm, you see me i said it from 2019 2019 I saw what many of you couldn't see. Many of you were standing, but you could not see what I was seated seeing. I told you that when the, whenever the devil wants to take advantage of you, he first of all isolates you. He will isolate you from your family members. They will invade fear into you by telling you, uh, your mother don't believe what you believe. Your sister don't believe what you believe. Your husband don't believe what you believe. So you have to cut ties with them. You don't have anything to do with non-believers. They will quote a scripture out of context by telling you, the Bible said, do not mingle with unbelievers. Don't yoke with uh, 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 unbelievers. In order to get advantage, to manipulate you, to put fear into you. How can a holiness pastor ask a church member to come and summon their enemies for 1,000 euro, 1,000 pounds, 1,000 US dollars? Vulnerable people. See how people struggle to earn 1,000 USD. See the hours. Just calculate the hours that people work before they are able to raise such an amount and they are putting fear in you people telling you there is going to be a war there is going to be a battle that all of you if you don't do the sermon uh, and when when the war starts you will not get a place to go you lose your job you do this you do. they are just invading fear fear hey i don't want noise yes they are just manipulating you, milking from, they are milking you. Some of these pastors have used you as a cash cow that they are extracting from you. They are extracting, just invading fears by telling you they are false revelations. They are false dreams. You see, I want you people, I say all these dreams that they were telling you, they, were, they, they, they had a, 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 a motive, they had a mission. The, the, their motive was to put fear into you, get hold of you, become so vulnerable to them to the extent that they will, they will, they will suck, they will suck from you as if they are sucking uh, the breast of a cow. Be very vigilant. I've told you, God is everywhere. God is everywhere. Whether you wear long gone or you don't wear long gone. God does not care about you wearing your long gown. God cares about your heart. It's just about you dressing decent. Do not expose your ties. Do not expose your breasts. Do not dress a seductive way that men will see you and last for you. That is the most important thing. But aside that, all oh, this holiness, majority of them, I'm not going to say one or two, a lot of them, holiness pastors in Ghana, many of them are scams. A lot of them are thieves. A lot of them are thieves. They are using their, their dreams to scare you, for you to believe as if they are God. Some of them are, 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 are impersonating themselves as if they are so God. They are God that you need to worship them. My sister, wake up, oh. You see, a lot of you that have left your marriages, go and apologize to your husband before it's too late. A lot of you that they've deceived you, Telling you leave your marriage. If you if you are a second, you are the second wife of that man. If the man has married and divorced and has come and married you, leave that man. Hey, my sister, it's better you ask confirmation from the Holy Spirit. Because everybody have the Holy Spirit at this end time. Now the Holy Spirit is not only in men of God alone, it's in everybody. He said from the child, from the young to the adult, they shall know God by themselves. So seek God yourself. Don't let anybody deceive you. 
wake up from your slumber. You see a lot of you, your businesses, you lose your job, you lose everything. Now you are hopeless, you are useless. A lot of you that follow their false dreams and revelations and move from USA, move from Germany, you, you move from Italy, you move from Canada, you move from Australia to Ghana. You see now you are stranded. How can you be a, a, a whole, a, a, a worker, somebody that was earning something, that, that, that was able to take care of you and your family? Now you sell pepper. Now you sell cocoa. Now you sell a lot of things. You are just a petty trader that earned only hand to mouth. Somebody that was able to raise money through the job you do to even uh, do a lot of investment. You see, now you are suffering. It's better. My sister, wake up. Many of you, they've invaded fear into you. You leave your homes 3.30 in the morning to go to church and you come around 10 in the morning. 3.30. You don't care about your husband. You don't cook for your husband. You don't care about anything. You hope just to run to the church because they've warned you that they've put in fear in you that if you don't pay tight to us, if you don't pay your offering, you don't give your offering, if you don't come to church as we have appointed, you are going to hell. But all these are forms of manipulations. The motive behind it is to manipulate you, to put fear in you, in order to get access to extract from you. You see now they are rich now. You see how broke you are. My sister, wake up. Wake up. I don't know about holiness in Nigeria. Only the Nigerian sisters and brothers can confirm. But I tell you, holiness in Ghana is a scam. Holiness in Ghana is about uh, milking from the vulnerable people, extracting from the vulnerable people, squeezing the hand of vulnerable ladies and taking what they have. Wake up me, I don't care. I don't fear anybody. I tell the truth as it is. I tell the truth as it is. I myself am a living witness. I know the homes of many of these holiness people. The properties that they have acquired. Wake up, my sister. They will take money. They say, oh, we are going to do donation. They will take the money and they will go and squander it. There are, there, there, there are orphans in the church, needy people in the church, uh, uh, um, widows in the church. They don't care about widows. They don't, they, it's about their, their selfish gain. It's about seeking the fame. It's about doing a lot of things just to, just to uh, 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 satisfy themselves. They don't care about you. Oh. They are not taking you to any heaven, my sister. Don't let them brainwash you. I don't know the people that preach to you that everything on earth is maggots. I don't know the people that told you that God opened, uh, God gave them a revelation. And the revelation that God gave to them. God was telling them that uh, even if you're a man of God, you shouldn't, you shouldn't, you shouldn't uh, get a house, you shouldn't get a lot of stuff, you shouldn't uh, even uh, acquire to yourself a lot of properties. But now as I'm speaking to some of them are riding luxurious cars. Some of them, the cars that they are using, just imagine at the end of the year, somebody from somewhere, a lazy man from somewhere want to extort from you thousand dollars. A lazy man from somewhere resting somewhere with false dreams and false revelations want to extract from vulnerable person. You that that is a graduate. And sometimes I wonder where your brain is. Sometimes I wonder. You people living in UK, you people living in USA. Sometimes I wonder, and I ask myself, Ah, do you do do these people don't have the the the, the discernment spirit that helps them to discern when somebody is lying to them? Do they not have it? Do you not have it, my sister? Somebody is starting from you. He wants you to pay thousand dollars, two thousand. Thousand pounds, thousand euros, one hundred and fifty million, one twenty million, hundred million. Fakuma kwadju four so four wati wo. Aye na boji se se huru sapo. Waye na boji se se huru sapo. Se wo ti na wo numu. Titi ubo yure mu. Afia sun ya kura wo no family. What to eat is difficult. Family members are looking up to you. Your, your sisters, your cousins are looking up to you. They are sleeping with empty stomach. And somebody somewhere, a greedy dog, a greedy dog, all in the name of, oh, religion. Religion, religion. My sister, wake up, oh. Read your Bible yourself. Ask for the Holy Spirit to visit you, to teach you, to guide you, 
to lead you. Else, many false teachers will come. Many false prophets will come. Here they are. God bless you. Meet you again next time. Shalom.